Hello everyone and welcome back. For those of you who do not know, my name is Nicoline Duplessis. I'm 20 years old and I was recently selected as one of the semi-finalists for Miss Namibia 2019. Without further ado, let's get started. What motivated me to take part and also why did I decide to take part this year specifically? Okay, so um, for those people who do know me personally and also from social media, probably you, will, you would have realized by now, um, I'm very into modeling and I'm also very into pageantry. Pageantry has been a part of my life since I was a little girl and um, I did beauty pageants when I was little as well like I said previously I didn't really do much beauty pageants in my somewhat 20 years but I I tried my best and I really it was something I really enjoyed because as you can see I do like the full glam type of look I was out of it a bit but um, I'm back now this is actually who I am so um, yeah and um, Okay, to answer, to actually come to the answer of the question is I knew I wanted to do Miss Namibia this year because um, I felt really content with myself this year and I felt that I love myself so much more than I did previous years and I really, really had that, that peace in my heart of I accept myself and I love the person who I am so I want to show people who I am and I want to I want to show them that I can be an ambassador for Namibia because that is what Miss Namibia is about you have to be an ambassador for your country and it's a very very big job and it's a lot of responsibility so you need to be ready mentally physically emotionally you need to be ready and I felt I really I felt you know what let's do this because I want I'm going to want to wait and wait and wait because I know myself I'm going to be like okay now um, maybe maybe next year maybe I'm not ready and um, I noticed that from a few girls as well they said um, I thought I wasn't ready but then I just told myself you're never going to be ready you're never never going to be ready you should just really take that leap off the bridge and just trust that whatever's underneath you is you are well prepared for okay so um, the second question was any life-changing lessons okay so, I'm 20 years old, so 20 years old is still very, very young. It's still, I, th I feel personally you are still so young and you still have so much that you need to figure out. And I really didn't even think about the things that I could have handled on my own. Like for instance, um, I, I live in Swakopmund. The traffic here is only really, not even really busy, it's like, the only time traffic here actually flows is when it's like lunchtime or when it's five o'clock when people go home from work. And to be quite honest, I have never in my life before going to Mr. Movia driven in Vintuk on my own. Never, 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 never. And I know the traffic in Vintuk is insane and it's really actually, it's for someone who isn't used to, to that kind of traffic and to being like you have to leave like 45 minutes earlier just to be on time if you have to be somewhere at two o'clock um it's not something i was used to um being able to do that really surprised me in my abilities and made me feel like you know what if you didn't if you didn't come here you wouldn't know that you were would be able to do something like this okay so there were a few questions asked in afrikaans and um i will like read the Afrikaans question but I'll rephrase it to English as well so the people who cannot speak Afrikaans will also know what I'm talking about okay so um the other question I got was um okay so what the person's asking is how did you feel afterwards now um if I understand correctly you mean how did I feel when I did not make the top 12 so um to be quite honest, I 
I didn't really realize in that moment when my name wasn't called that I was not picked for the top 12. Um, so I, I just remember I walked out like from backstage and I walked to the dressing room and people came to me and they hugged me and they're like, don't worry, you're young, you can still try again. And I think when they told me that, I, I realized, you know what, this is where this whole journey ends. This is, and um, I think it was human to be sad. And I was sad and I, would, I was discouraged because immediately I started questioning myself. What did I do wrong? What, what should I have done better? What did I, what did I lack? What did I do too much of? What did I, you know, you start, it's human, I think, to immediately start questioning yourself. And um, because it was a, you know, it's a thing that everybody wants. Everybody that was in the semi-finalists, we all wanted to be chosen in the top 12 and 18 girls didn't make it. So I think we were all very, we were, we were confused and we were sad because we had a lot of questions. And I, um, I really tried to just not put myself in that position at that time. Like I excluded myself and I just, I didn't want to talk about it for the entire night and also the next day because I just, I wanted to compose myself and I just wanted to, I wanted to have that time to myself to just sit down and be like, okay, so this is what happened, but let's, let's evaluate the situation. So I, I didn't want to react upon the situation because that is not the type of person I am. I believe so much more in myself and I know so much more about myself. And now I know what to expect if I ever do decide to enter something like this again. Um, I feel I would definitely be much more ready than I would have been or were now. So I hope that answered your question. Okay, um, this is also Afrikaans question, but like I said, I'm going to rephrase it in English for the people that doesn't understand Afrikaans. Hoe blij jij je altijd positief met al die, criti met al die criticism op social media? Okay, so what the person is asking is how do you constantly stay positive with all the criticism that you have received on social media? Um, I had made a post earlier in the semi-finalist journey about the criticism that we have received on social media on our pictures. I was fortunate enough not to have received too bad things like um i didn't really it didn't it didn't have a big effect on me about what the people were saying because what they were saying wasn't wasn't like going to ruin my day or anything um but you know there were still people who who did um personally contact me and there were people who did comment on my pictures and from the beginning, I knew when our pictures were going to be released, people were going to have something to say because that is just that is just how people are. Um, we always will have something to say. So um, positive or negative, that is just unfortunately how the world works. So I mentally made myself ready to get get trash basically on my pictures or get um comments or hate comments or you know just be just just to prepare yourself for the for the cyberbullying i did i did just try to get the mindset of you know what these people don't know you these people 80 percent of them haven't met you before and um they don't know the type of person you are they don't know how you speak how you carry yourself they only see you in the picture now what must also be remembered is the selection committee who did choose the semi-finalist for Miss Namibia actually met us and had an interview with us and um, talked with us about what's going on in the news and talked with us about why are we here. By saying here, I mean why are we applying to be the next Miss Namibia. And I feel that society must trust their judgment and must trust trust how they evaluated us in order to handpick us for the top for the top 30 and i that's that's what i say i i immediately had this mindset of people 80 percent of these people that are saying something about me don't know me they don't know who i am they don't know where i come from they don't know what my story is so um 
I just really try to um, stay reassured in myself and just really assure myself that remember these people do not know who you are and that is how I try my best to stay positive and just really um, try not to to let the negativity get to me and um, my negativity was nothing compared to what the other girls got and that is also a question someone asked me is what what is my opinion on the hate speech that um, the contestants got towards their pictures and um, I honestly I was so 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 saddened and disappointed in so many Namibians because of what they were saying because it's so easy to sit behind a computer and judge someone based on a bad angle in the picture because believe me guys if you met these girls in person this group was I felt so privileged and honored to be in this year's group because these girls were amazing and they were so 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 beautiful and that's why I couldn't understand the negativity they were getting because these girls were really all of them were so uniquely beautiful and next time before you type something just really think if this was going to be said to you how would you feel other question I got was there are three left two left sorry also answered one <laughs> are you going to enter again so as of now at this moment um, I'm not thinking about entering again in the next one like two to three years Maybe after three years, I will try to enter again, but um, I'm going to try and really just take the time and try to finish my studies and try to um, build up in a few aspects of my life before I do attempt to do Miss Namibia again. Um, Miss Namibia has really taught me a lot about myself and really helped me to develop emotionally and personally and just really really learn a lot about myself and just develop so much more and become a better person than I was before I did Miss Namibia. Um, maybe in the near future we will talk about it again because I have no blood, bad blood with Miss Namibia and the people, the organisation is really just amazing and the people work so so extremely hard and try to make it the best experience for you as possible and they are so they are just really always there for you and always there when you need something and they do understand what you're going through and they do understand how difficult it is on you sometimes so i'm extremely grateful that i had the privilege to meet and work with the people of miss namibia so our last question ah second last question sorry um what was your favorite part of the journey my favorite part of the journey was meeting different people and um just really discovering how much of a sisterhood Miss Namibia actually is. In the beginning, they do tell us that pageantry of Miss Namibia is a sisterhood and it is really something that you are going to take with you if you if you separate your paths. And that is something that I would not argue with. I have made so many new friends and I've learned so much about every single woman there. And I think also the other thing that I would, that I, put favoritism put, put in the favoritism category of my journey would be that I I loved every second of it I loved every single second of it there was not really something that I wanted to would would want to single out um I would definitely say the rehearsals were for me the best part because we, we had so much fun and we just, we really made it enjoyable for everyone. And like I said, there was nothing bad about this experience. It was all good for me and it was really a big lesson for me. Um, the question also that I got was, who was your biggest supporter? Now I feel it would be unfair to single someone out. Well, I got so much overwhelming support from everybody that's in my life. Um, my parents, my sister, her fiance, my boyfriend. Um, like I said, I'm not going to single anyone out um, of my support crowd because it would be unfair because everybody supported me so much. And um, yeah, it was just it was just amazing and I'm so grateful and so blessed to be able to to have a family and friends that stand behind me so strongly. I don't think you you would know how much your support mean to me and how much your shoulders mean to me afterwards. It was just, I'm so overwhelmed and you guys are so amazing. Okay, so um, our last question is, 
the feeling of being a finalist. Okay, so when I got the call that I made the semi-finalist, I obviously, I was in tears and um, um, I actually, I would have written exams in the time that I had to be away from Miss Namibia. So I remember I had to write exams on Friday and I got the call on Monday of the Friday that I would have written my first exam, my semester exam. And um, I couldn't write because I had to be in Ventuk and I couldn't change my centers on such short notice. So um, yeah, the feeling of being a finalist, I don't think you can really describe to anyone because I feel everybody, everybody reacts and feels towards it differently. I I just felt so privileged and so blessed and so fortunate to be able to be given this opportunity because it's something that I think a lot of people don't realize is actually a big deal because remember you are representing your country if you do win Miss Namibia and um, you are a role model to so many girls and boys out there and you're just really some someone that they can look up to you are you prove to them what it means to be a purposeful way of living you you just you mean so much to so many people and um i think not a lot of people do really realize what mr mabe is all about and um to be able to just be a semi-finalist for me was was honestly one of my dreams because doing mr mabe has been a part of something that i've wanted to do for so long and um, like I said my journey with Miss Namibia is not done yet and um, I will definitely be be on that stage soon enough again and be able to represent Namibia my beautiful country and I just want to thank everybody that is out there that is supporting me and still supporting me it is extremely overwhelming and I cannot thank you enough so for now Namibia I thank you and I greet you until next time when the sharpest words wanna cut me down I'm gonna send a blood, gonna drown a This is brave, this is bruised This is who I'm meant to be This is me